Hello and welcome to my channel, lovely Virgo people. We're going to do your reading for December. I'm not going to put a timeline on this really because whenever you get to it is when it needed to get to you. And I certainly don't know if and when I will post another video, but I will try to keep being consistent. We'll see. Uh, we're going to talk about your person, their energy, what you can expect, your energy. We'll pull a couple oracle cards and then we'll keep it pushing. Thank you so much for joining me today, Virgo. So let's not waste any time and let's get into it. You hermit card. I mean, I keep getting the hermit card for every person here now like just the hermit is just flying out all right wow <laughs> okay <laughs> I tried to stuff that hermit card back in because I got it for the past two people for their the past two signs their people I stuffed it back in there shuffled it again and it was I just can't all right, I get it. Hermit card. Oh, that's too. Okay, you want both of those. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Huh. One more. Now, usually I only pull three, but this seems to be asking me for four. Okay. All right. So straight off the bat, they're telling me with the hermit card that someone closing themselves off or closing down. Um, if someone who may have need to take may have needed to take a look at their themselves and to sequester themselves to do the deep sort of um inner work the hermit is someone who is also also needs the guidance of sort of like the the woods the forest the quietude and this is the energy for your person it seems that they needed to withdraw or go within to make a choice between two things that seem equally attractive and that's not necessarily two people that what that feels like to me is actually um a head over heart decision where they may have needed to make a decision between you and their financial situation or you and um family members the financial situation feels more strongly to me because i see the emperor here and that tells me that they may have chose chosen to give their energy into starting a business or um, being the head of their household or sort of being the head person in charge and not necessarily give their energy to the relationship, which is what you may have wanted. Um, I do see the hierophant here the hierophant for me is a deeper level of commitment and they may have been wanting to have a deeper level of commitment while exerting control over you and that's just not i mean virgos are not here for that you cannot control a virgo i mean i'm a rebellious sign myself but virgos are like nah, you're not gonna tell me what to do don't tell me what to do just let me be myself that's Virgo energy. So I do see here the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. That to me tells me that you may have been in deep love or, or feeling like you were in deep commitment with this person. But the energy shifted and instead of feeling like 
you were in deep love or commitment, all of a sudden you started feeling defensive. I feel like that's because they tried to exert controls over you or like do as I say, not as I do. And that's just not going to fly for a Virgo. You decided to seek success outside of the relationship. And that feels like a self-investment, not necessarily like an investment in another person or an investment in money, as much as it was that you started doing things that made yourself feel good, feel better, uh, feel more whole. However, this relationship still seems to keep you up at night or still seems to like you keep being drawn back to it, keep thinking about it in the quiet time of the evening is when it draws you back in and you start thinking about the self that you are now and how that self might have handled this relationship and situation because I do feel that there was love there considering that this person seems to be I don't want to say a catch because that's not quite right but that this person seems to have been for you. It doesn't seem like they were lying or they were cheating. I, I mean, in what I'm getting for the collective or, or getting for the people that I'm reading for, this isn't about them having a whole nother woman or a whole nother family. I mean, for some of you that may be true, but what I'm actually feeling is that they were looking to be far more controlling than you wanted them to be. Uh, it's one thing to be like an alpha, but it's quite another to try to control someone's spirit or energy because you're insecure, you're feeling unsafe, or you want things a certain way, like you want a step for wife or whatever. <clears throat> I see the three of swords here, and that's more connected to your person where your shift in energy, you making yourself happy you pulling away from them in order to give to yourself and not necessarily to give to them really did break their heart because they did see you as their long-term commitment as their person they did see you as the person that they wanted to invest in long term or to marry so for you to shift how you were with them because i felt i feel that in the beginning for quite some time you acquiesced to them you just let them do and let them do and let them do and then all of a sudden you looked and you were like holy crap this is far more control than i want anybody to have over me now this uh high priestess is here along with the ace of swords and the king of cups that to me actually tells me that the person that you're thinking about you are intuitively linked to this person you may be this you know, end all be all energy because the high, high priestess for me is like the ultimate woman. She embodies all the queens and the empress. She has the hidden knowledge. She's a spiritual person. Um, she's a very intuitive person. And you might find for the Virgos that I'm connecting with and talking to that that's how your person viewed you whether you be masculine fe feminine take it the energy is how it resonates but it's all of these things that i'm describing that's how your person viewed you which is why they wanted the deeper level of commitment now i do see if you have been in uh, separation or disconnection from this person they are going to be reaching out with this ace of swords it says communication and that communication is going to be uh the benevolent king where they may have been the harsh emperor before they're going to be the king of cups the benevolent king they may be a water sign but moreover what you're looking at is energetically they are someone who has the en the heart of endless giving or they're going to give to you what it is that you had been asking for in the past where they were not capable of giving it to you before for whatever reason because they couldn't see or understand or they didn't have the capacity or whatever they are now sort of seeing the error of their ways and really going to connect with you in the way that you're looking for now that doesn't mean that you're not going to have a new energy in play but it does tell me that this person may have separated themselves from you and is and are looking to reconnect with you so let me get some clarification 
on this Ace of Swords and this King of Cups. Oh, because they just can't help themselves. <laughs> like, why are we communicating? Well, because you're on that hot, hot girl, hot boy shit. That's why you're the king of wands. You got all that poom poom energy. You got all that passionate stuff that they like. Um, and we have the star here, which is like they couldn't ignore you even if they tried. So they're kind of looking to and ace of swords ace of swords they're looking to communicate that to you it's kind of like they really have seen the error of their ways in a sense or they're seeing that like in order to have you in their life it's not their way or the highway it has to be your way i'll pull some from the lemurian deck because i know y'all virgo people will love that High heart chakra, ecstatic bliss. Now, I know some of you Virgos are on that shit right now. This person that you were dealing with may have been vibrating at that frequency with you for some time. And then you were just embodying it much more deeply. The high heart chakra and ecstatic bliss comes from you really, again, choosing what feels good choosing what feels right for the Virgo and not and saying like, I am not going to be chained down. I'm going to do exactly what I want to do and what feels good. And I'm not saying that that means do it in a way that hurts someone else, but it really talks about being honest with your heart's desire and choosing with honesty and with love what is best for you. Crystal eyes, that comes in when you're able to see more clearly or focus more clearly on what it is that you're seeing. So this is kind of like cutting to the heart of a problem, like being able to see not just, oh, I see that person's on some bullshit, but like, oh, I see that person is on some bullshit because this trauma exists and this wound is literally open and gaping and leaking energy from their aura what this tells me is that you guys are moving into a phase of your spiritual growth that has nothing to do with this romantic relationship but it's it allows you a deeper discernment it allows you a deeper understanding of the human condition it's actually a quality that you will develop that helps you to heal others um, because you'll be able to see just where they need attention and they need your Virgo energy. So the root chakra is here and it's asking for you to ground and center. But I also, you know, I like to offer up foods and crystals. Ruby is a great one. Garnet is a great one to carry around when the root chakra comes up. Vetiver which is an oil, you can put this on your feet, brings you right back down to center. Um, and just allowing yourself some time and space to like breathe deeply into the root chakra and heal some of the like the old childhood trauma stuff that may be keeping you from your partner. I know that this is like a crossover into a spiritual reading, but like with a Virgo, what do you expect? Uh, I think that's all I'm going to do because we got a little bit deep for you, Virgos. Um, catch me on my 
fuck love let's talk about ascension where i'm going to use all of these oracle decks to start getting into some of the stuff that you virgos and some of my other signs are are to be doing moving into december 21st and into the new age of aquarius and uh thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate you and hopefully i'll see you next time